Good morning, my people. Good afternoon. Good evening to each and every one of you. Welcome back to Let's Talk TV. Yes, my people, we are back to give you back to back update on how things the be or how things the shell. Yes, my people, as it the hot be so now, so we go to give them to now back to back. If you're joining us for the first time, remember to subscribe and turn on your notifications too. Okay, uh, the latest one we just the hot right now. The latest one we I need to like they give Una as it they be as it the hot uh, be say. Yes, the militants BNL, we actually the Nations League. Yes, my people, helped bombed the UK oil ship in Bakasi Peninsula. Yeah, my people, this is what these people recently did. My people recently have been trying to let people know that each and every one of us has a work to do. The Afro Liberation Army gets it all way they do. PM Simon Eber, who is representing at this particular point, has his own, he's doing. And my people, every single person gets his own work way they do. And at this particular point, the Biafra Nations League militants just bombed the UK oil ship in Bakasi Peninsula. And as I'm telling you now, they hot everywhere. And of course, we know of the recent thing that Tinubu did recently. Tinubu banned Binance in Nigeria. And now it's in the sub for here. Now it's in the be Because PM will always, will always turn up at every point. My people, this Binance that they bought, I just want to talk about it a little while. For a little while. This Binance that was banned in Nigeria is a way or a system that people, young boys, have been using to try and make a living. It is, it is something they've been trying to use and make a living. And it has been helping a lot, the system, the youths in Nigeria. And now it has been banned. And I come to, on, and, I, and I, I, I reason and I try to understand. Is it that you do not want the progress of your youths? Is it that you do not want your youths in the country to actually uh, 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 benefit or actually grow? Or you don't want anything that looks like progress for your youths? That is the truth. Should be told, yes, uh, once, um, that's a uh, Binance has been a way maybe the uh, fraudsters have used to like used to wash their money or something of that sort. But I'm trying to explain that it's also a way that people, youths, have tried to use and come up with a way to serve themselves and do better with their lives. But now it has been banned. And this, with the whole situation of the country, is when this man decided to still ban Binance. My people, it is a whole lot. It is, it is a whole lot. Now, going back to the main thing that we have for today, as we are talking about well, the Rafa Nations League, as they have Nations Militants, have uh, bombed the UK or you ship in Bakasi Peninsula. Uh, my people, of course, they have their reasons for that, of course. And then, uh, now, so it could be anytime because these people have been working hand in hand with the uh, Tinubu UK and Tinubu. It's as if they've been doing, uh, they've had a hand in most of the things that have been happening in the country. And uh, they've been working towards doing a whole lot of issues and putting a whole lot of youths or Ndibu down. Anything that concerns Biafra on Ndibu, they are not in support of it, not at all. They've always wanted something else. Of course, the UK always have an ulterior motive with working with uh, Nigeria or uh, the government, whatsoever it is. And then Tilibu himself would always have something in mind to use and always come for his own or the reason he's doing what he's doing. And it is not at all in any way helping the situation of people. My people, it is very, very bad that this is the situation or this is one of the situations we've ended up finding ourselves in. What can we do in situations like this? How do we possibly proceed or become better in situations like this? It is just the fact that these people have nothing in common. They have nothing in common with Ndibo. They do not want to see the progress of Ndibo at any point in time. I am here to let you know that the situation of the country right now is, uh, a, is something that has been done consciously. It is not an act that was done uh, 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 because of in a bid to make the country better or anything like that. It is something that has been done consciously just for the whole thing to destabilize the whole nation and for them to one way or another gain fully from it because of course their gain is what is paramount in everything like this if they are not gaining from it i don't think they would not they would enjoy any anyway anything that comes into it but of course one way or another they gain from the things that happen in this country and uh, they, they they do not care about the masses they do not care about the people in the country they do not care about the biafra uh -huh. 
And that is why PM Simon Ekba has decided to go haywire on all of them and bring up all sectors of the Biafra Nations League, the Biafra Liberation Army, the Biafra Army, the ESN. Wherever you are, just know that one way or another, you are being worked for. They are being worked for. And these things are needed one way or another in the situation that Nigeria found himself right now. Because the Biafra zones, the Biafra, the, the Biafra land that we are in at this particular point is a place that needs to be safeguard, safeguarded fully. It needs people that would actually take care of it at this particular point. And uh, we cannot let the Biafra land be led to, 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 to be led bare for these people to come and prowl into it for full and knees to wake up and just enter into our land and do whatever it is they want. Because of course that is what these people would always want. That is what uh, Hopos of Dima have blessed these these people to enter into Oweri, in most states or wherever it is in Oweri, in most state, to do whatever it is they want just because they claim in quotes they are trying to accommodate them. What have happened to the rest of their states over there? It's not enough for them. They are coming over here to do some kind of things they wish. My people, it is not it is not a an accommodating system. It is a way to use and encroach into our land and take over the land. Go to Douglas in a way. The news that we are getting right now is that during their 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 once it happens that it's on Friday and it's time for their month's prayer, you cannot go through, you cannot go on the road on Douglas. The Douglas Road, that is what we are getting at this particular point. You cannot cross because they are all on the road and that place is blocked. Cars do not go through. This is more than an encroachment. This is a takeover they are trying to do in our state. And this is not going to work out. And that is why the Biafra Liberation Army has been sent. If these people make a move against our people, they will collect it all. all. Well, in fact, at this particular point, we are not waiting. The situation of things now has brought it up to the extent, the range that we do not care if they have done anything. The main thing is that they are not going to succeed in whatever they want to do. And so they are going to be brought down, hit down at any point in time because the, the things they are involved in or their plans is very hideous for Biafra. It's very hideous for Ndibo. And at this particular point, I'm trying to let you know that the most important thing for you to do is to do your own part wherever you find yourself as an evil person. For you, as someone that is maybe in, in, in support of the movement or in support of everything that we hold dear in our land. As we all know that PM Simon Ewa is working on his own part. Yes, that is the truth. As he is currently in Canada now to work on the, 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 the Biafra referendum, the Biafra convention also. That is taking place here, which would make one of the biggest steps we've ever made ever since as he's going to hold in, in Canada. And people, it is not any different from the most, one of the most important things that, that needs to be done. It's one of the big steps we are taking to become better than these people in every sector, in every way. The fact that we brought up our own digital coin, our own currency, is also a big step so that we do not have to, when we have finally gotten this Biafra nation, we do not have to wait. There is nothing like ah we are lacking in this system. Once it comes, the the, the 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 currency is there already for us to pick up and leave. Every single thing is laid in place. If they come up and say, what are the things that are laid in place if your nation is giving this if your this division is being done now? Everything will be placed on the table, and they will see that this particular set of people are ready. People keep acting. These things are being done. Not these are the reasons why these things are being done. Enough of the dialogue. Dialogue has been done a whole lot of times. Dialogue has been born by a, a map power for them. And they've been, 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 been it's, it's been like a child's play for them. Because of course the government would keep talking to them and maybe keep turning them around. In fact, it's not maybe keep, it's what they keep doing to them. They keep turning them around like they are kids. And they, at the end, there is no progress or whatsoever that these people actually have concerning the whole situation of the country. No progress at all. And if you're not getting any progress from this sort of thing, it means you need to change strategy. And that is what the PM have come to do. That's what the PM entered this whole situation with, a new strategy. We are not going with dialogue again. We are going with violence, giving people back to back. After giving people back to back, we're still making moves internationally to make sure that we are securing our places at the right places to make sure that when the time comes, we will not be caught slacking. We will not be caught slacking at all, at all, at all. We cannot be caught slacking. We know the zones that are the Biafra zones and how it will be divided. These people are not interested in anything. They do not want to let us go. 
and the, them keeping us in, in Nigeria today. They want to keep oppressing Ndigo, oppressing the youths, keeping them down, pinning them down, without wanting anything that would, that would uh, uh, look into the progress of Ndigo. And that is very bad. And that is why these steps are being taken day and night. Also, that is it. Yes, my people, this is where we come to the end of this particular broadcast. Thank you for joining us. Remember to subscribe and turn on your notifications too. Thank you.